Hello. Uh, I'm, I'm still uh, in the chronological survey in this course. This is in the medieval period, classics. What do we have that we still value from that time? And I had discussed the set of legends around King Arthur. Well, I think it's fairly easy for some people to get them mixed up with another set of legends that come from the same time. Oh, and I need to apologize for the rooster. Well, not apologize, but yesterday you probably heard the rooster crowing. This is, after all, a farm. I am in a barn. Uh, and you're gonna, in spring you're going to hear more and more birds around or flying in and flying out. Anyway, what I was saying was um, you can get these legends mixed up. Uh, and I, so I try to sort them out. Um, and uh, to get some of the stuff that's on here, I'll ask the kids, or I did when I was teaching public school, so, who do you know? Name some characters from the Robin Hood legends. And, uh, you know, it was fun to see what they would come up with. They could usually come up, well, it, it would depend. Sometimes they would come up with a lot of them, and I would write them down, and then I would add ones, or I'd lead a question. I'd say, well, what color did they wear? Uh, green. Uh, Lincoln, what color green? Lincoln green. Uh, and and uh, who was the bad guy? Uh, anyway, here are some. Little John, he was the right-hand man, uh, his buddy, his uh, sidekick, be an example of the archetypic sidekick, uh, originally named John Little. I'll say more about that in a little bit. Maid Marian, his girlfriend, according to these legends. The Sheriff of Nottingham was a bad guy, so was uh, Prince John. This This... Uh, Prince John was historic. So much of this is legendary. But Prince John ultimately became King John. Uh, the Magna Carta was signed under King John. He was such a bad king. Uh, 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 his merry men, uh, Robin Hood uh, had a group of merry men. They were to be found in Sherwood Forest. Rob from the rich gave to the poor. Uh, Friar Tuck was the Franciscan friar that uh, followed them, uh, uh, or was part of them, Will Scarlet. And then Richard the Lionhearted. In, in so many versions of Robin Hood, the, the uh, movie ends, or the book will end, with the return from the Crusades of Richard the Lionhearted, uh, the, the true king at the time of, uh, of England. Uh, Prince John was rather hoping uh, Richard would never come home from the Crusades because he wanted to be king. Well, some of that's historic. But uh, the, uh, the legends themselves, they are legendary. There is no proof that Robin Hood ever lived or died. There's no clear proof of that. What we have is a collection of songs that people sang at that time about this outlaw figure. Uh, uh, they're ballads. Uh, so I said from ballads. A ballad is a song that tells a story. Uh, and uh, the, one of the ones that, uh, one of the textbooks that I used in, in uh, se teaching seventh grade had one that, that was adapted, I think, a little bit, but it went, it went like this. It started like this. When Robin Hood was 20 years old, he happened to meet little John, a jolly brisk blade right fit for the trade, for he was a lusty young man. Though he was called little, his limbs, they were large, and his length, it was seven foot high. Whenever... He came, they quaked at his name, for soon he would make them all fly. Uh, I think I might have used that back in December when I was teaching how to write verse. Uh, that, that's that's uh, called a ballad stanza, or, or common verse, except it's a little special in that there's got some internal rhyme. Uh, so I think I did talk about that already. It can be found online if you would Google when Robin Hood was 20 years old. There, there you would see it in various ways. Uh, anyway, there are maybe 20 or 30 ballad songs about this outlaw, uh, Robin Hood, and so they've been pieced together and used so much. Uh, like King Arthur, these legends have been so popular. When I was a, a kid in the 1950s, there was a television show, and I still remember the theme song, Robin Hood, Robin Hood, with his band of men riding in the glen, Robin Hood, Robin Hood, with his band of men, da-da-da-da, and on it went. I mean, that was a time where every week we would wait to see it. Uh, but there have, in my lifetime, there have probably been six, four, six movies uh, about Robin Hood. It uh, doesn't go away. Uh, and uh, I don't know, the one I used when I would show a clip 
was the Errol Flynn one. I want to say 1952. I don't know if it was that. I don't know the date. But the one where Errol Flynn uh, played, uh, played Robin Hood. Uh, you know, that's old, but in a way I think it's the best. I don't think too highly of the modern versions of it. Uh, Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. Uh, well, you know, it, 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 maybe you'd like them. I don't know. Uh, uh, but anyway, they, they continue to be very popular. One thing I, I did like to do with the kids, that, that's, that, that ballad that I was telling about when Robin Hood was 20 years old, he happened to meet little John. They happened to meet on a long, narrow bridge, and neither of them would give way. They met on a bridge, a very famous story, and neither one would back up. So they got uh, cudgels, <laughs> uh, quarter saps, and they fought. I, I, why I smile is because I remember as a kid, my buddies and, and I, we would go out and get sticks and pretend to be Robin Hood. Uh, well, anyway, uh, that is spoofed in uh, Robin Hood Men in Tights. Now, Robin Hood Men in Tights is a spoof of the Robin Hood legends. I can't really say that I recommend it. It, it has its funny moments, and I, I would show a clip of the guys dancing in their tights, uh, partly because I wanted them to hear Hey Nonny Nonny and a Ho Ho Ho, uh, the, the students to hear that, because that medieval songs had stuff like that. But uh, the part I like to show most is where they fought on the bridge. And I, I looked on YouTube to see could I just tell you to go straight to it. And it's there, but uh, the place that I found it was Funniest Moments of Robin Hood Men in Tights. But if you go there, uh, I, I, don't, I wouldn't just go and start it. I would skip to the second minute, twelfth second, because some of the, some of the humor in that is, is gotten from grossness. Uh, but the part where they fight on the bridge is pretty funny. And, and uh, Will Scarlet uh, is in there too with his knives, and, and they make an allusion. He, he says his whole name actually is Will Scarlet O'Hara. Uh, and he's from Georgia. Well, Scarlett O'Hara, now and then I'll have, I would have students that would know that that's uh, the main character in Gone with the Wind. Uh, that, that's a funny little sequence, so I recommend that. Okay, I've got one more video uh, today. Uh, I, I have a little bit more to say about Robin Hood.